Hi everybody. So in the last video we finished up working the wing tip over for the left uh, wing. For the most part for now. I mean it's almost, you know, it's it's good. We got some more work to do on it, but for now I'm pretty sat satisfied. But but none of that's important. Oh, there it is again. I just wanted to show everyone that twice. That really hurt. That was at the tail end of the last video, in case you didn't miss it. In case you, in case you didn't catch it. So I decided to see how hard I could hit my head against the wing strut. Immediately thinking, now oh, I'll just take that out later. So anyway, in this video, we are not working on the other wingtip. No. What we are working on are the elevators. Now that I know that... Uh, Fiberglass really isn't anything that to you know, have to uh, fear. I thought, you know what, I've been avoiding working on some of this empanage stuff. And one of the things that I hadn't done, and you see me trying to do it here, is those are the counterweights for the uh, elevators. And I'm trying everything I can think of. You have to saw two of them flat. So two of them are kind of bezeled, and you need to saw the bezel off because there's not enough room to put the counterweights on and to... Uh, fit them in with the horizontal stabilizer. So what I've done, and I'm going to show you here, is I'm actually making a jig so that I can attach the counterweights to this jig and run it along uh, my bandsaw. So I just took an old piece of angle aluminum, uh, cut it so that it's the exact same depth of the uh, end result of the width of the counter uh, sorry of the counterweight that I want basically I'm making a jig sorry I'm trying to I'm trying to explain it in a really sciencey way but and so it's basically a piece of angle iron uh, angle aluminum and it's got a few plates around one side so that uh, you can screw the counterweight onto it in fact I'm about to show it to you here after I've got it uh, constructed So here it is. So you can see that angle uh, aluminum with uh, two holes drilled out and that's where the counterweight gets uh, screwed onto. And then once it's screwed on I can just simply glide that thing right across the bandsaw and cut off all the material. And I would have never been able to think about that before I'd started home building a plane. Ah, oh, probably. So here's the counterweight, and there you can see how it fits in. And with the two screws. So the problem is that there's two screw holes. Um, the proper way to do this, you really can't put the screws in, although I'd forgotten that the back sides are flat, but that, I mean, are indented, but that doesn't matter. See, the idea is that you need to shave some of the counterweight off so that the elevator will actually fit onto the horizontal stabilizer. Great. So, how the hell do you gnaw off an eighth of an inch of lead like this? So what I do is I use the bandsaw, and you can see that I've got a, one of the screws is in place to kind of help it stay flat, and having it attached to that jig, I can then run it through the bandsaw, and I can do it safely. And I think that's the real key. Safe. So now that all four of those are actually done, uh, another thing that you did have to do, and I did it a long time ago, was you, uh, they come as rectangles, and you need to kind of shave some of them off. And so that had already been done, because uh, that was easy. I mean, I uh, had the bandsaw for that, and it just shaved them into basically into a trapezoid. The idea being that the tips where the counterweights go in the elevators um, aren't straight. As you can see, because there they are, uh, we, man, we haven't touched these in a long time. Uh, you can see that the, the tips aren't square. They kind of go in a little bit. So you want those to be, uh, so the weights have to be shaved a little bit. And so now it's time to put them on, and it's two counterweights per elevator. Um, now here's the thing. So I, dumb butt, uh, accidentally 
shaved the excess lead off of all four counterweights. Now you don't really, you know, you're only supposed to do two. You don't need to shave the weight off the other two counterweights because they're perfectly fine as is. So yeah, I did that. Ultimately, so I've weighed out the amount, uh, and I don't think it should have, so the, the amount that I accidentally took off, I don't think it's going to have any effect on uh, control weight or control service weight, the elevator weight, uh, but it does make me feel a little bit of the dumbass. So anyway, uh, you put two screws through both of them, uh, through the weight, and it goes through the tail there, and through the next set of weights, and then it's a washer and a uh, nut. Now I've gone ahead and glued over those nuts with some industrial epoxy so that they will go nowhere. I tell you what though, and it feels re it feels good. It feels really good to finally get this out of the way. The only reason I didn't hadn't done it before was I hadn't thought about finding a way to deal with the counterweights. Plus I knew after the counterweights it was only fiberglass and well we all know what a pansy I was about that, so so now I'm working on the uh, fiberglass, and what happened was all the footage of me actually trimming the fiberglass and drilling the holes and click on the men was all lost. So here's a little still frame from the very end. Uh, it wasn't really that difficult. These, as well as uh, some of the other uh, fiberglass pieces, are simple. But anyway, we will continue later.